When was the last time you saw water in the Highline Canal? It's been a while, yeah. and after a few years, water is finally making its comeback. Denver 7's Connor Wist explains where this water has been the whole time. People exercising along the Highline Canal may be doing a little bit of a double take. That's because they're seeing something that hasn't been there in many years. It's just a whole new experience. It's like a, it's a whole new trail. 71 miles. Chris Englert has already walked it twice, and she's not stopping there. Halfway on my third attempt, and I'll start a fourth attempt in June. But there's something new about the walks this year. I come out and I see the water, and it's almost like an old friend has returned. Would you say that it's a day maker for you? Absolutely. It makes my day every day. We're just excited to have water back on. With the water back, customers along the canal can open these head gates. They can store water and use it later. The flows depend on water rights and the snowpack. The runoff really hasn't started in earnest yet but uh, the numbers look real good. You too can walk the entire canal trail, covering all 71 miles in 14 guided legs. Chris hopes the water will inspire more people to get outside and celebrate what nature has to offer. My challenge to Denver, <laughs> come out and walk the canal. These walks along the canal will run from June to November. Along the High Line, Connor Wist, Denver 7. So the walks will start in Waterton Canyon, end at Green Valley Ranch. They range from four to eight miles apiece. You can see the schedule right now on the free Denver 7 app.